How you treat others defines who you are on the inside. It shows your character, what kind of person you are. It's easy to love people who love you, but it takes a lot more effort to love those who don't like you, to treat everybody with dignity and respect. It's been said many times in many places that if you want to be greatest, you must be servant of all, that the greatest leaders serve and treat everybody with respect regardless of how they are treated in return. They treat the lowly street sweeper with the same respect as the mightiest CEO. They don't care about where they come from or what position they have in life. Successful people, truly kind, loving people, love people for who they are and respect them as human beings, whether or not they get that same respect in return. And it defines your character as a human being if you can show respect in times of stress. Anybody can show respect when things are going easy and simple. But it's very difficult to be respectful when somebody's being belligerent and yelling in your face. But remember, when you choose to, to choose to remain calm and careful with your words, you are in control of that situation. No one can make you feel angry without your consent, so don't give them your consent. Now, I wish I could say I mastered this perfectly, but obviously I haven't. So when I talk to you about this, I'm talking to myself as well. Remember... When you choose to stay even keeled and in control, you become the bigger person. And it's not really about being the bigger person. It's just true that a kind word really does calm the situation, but an angry word will only stir up strife. Getting angry in turn will only make the situation worse. But if you choose to show love and try to see where the other person's coming from, even when they're being belligerent, you might see they're just having a bad day, a bad moment of time, and you're just the perceived straw that broke the camel's back. Or maybe they're trying to see, uh, try to take back some control or perceived control of their life, some illusion of control. And remember, there's times where you've come across belligerent and angry and hostile when you weren't necessarily intending to be, or maybe you were just having a bad moment in time. So remember to cut your neighbor some slack. You want them to cut you some slack, so cut them some slack as well. None of us are perfect, and if you remember that someone who's being belligerent or nasty to you or just doesn't like you, that they're human beings too, that they're ministering out of the hurt. They can't give what they don't have, so give them what they don't have, and that's love and respect. And the more love and kindness and respect you show them, the more they will learn it. The more they're shown it, the more they'll learn it, the more they'll show it to others. And you can make, just make a difference in that person's day by not responding in kind, but by responding in love. You might just turn their life around. You never know. It just takes one small seed. As is written again, see how little a forest, a little fire kindles. It just takes one spark to ignite a forest fire. So one spark of kindness, one spark of love can transform someone's life in the twinkling of an eye. Remember... Show love at all times. Be ready in season and out of season, and you just never know what difference you might make. You all have a wonderful day, and blessings to you all.